Hi there, Earth Signs. It's B. Thank you so much for joining me. Here is the introduction to my B Weeklies. These are readings for the Earth Signs, which would include Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So how are my groundbreakers doing out there? Well, I just want to let everybody know that um, I had to issue a scam alert because there is an entity out there that is uh, uploading my videos without my permission. So I would just like to say for everyone out there that you know if you want to feature me in any way, shape, or form on your own YouTube channel, please contact me and get my permission first. I am not a difficult person to deal with and I believe that you know if it's spiritually based and it's supportive that I am more than likely to say it would be you know okay for you to do that but I will need uh, a request for people to utilize my image in any way shape or form on their YouTube channel. Now um, let's get started on the B weeklies. I don't want to. I don't want to dwell on that too much. If if you have any questions or you, you need to know any details, please just go ahead and go to the scam alert that I put out there today, which is the 11th of July or the 12th, depending upon where you are in the world. Okay, Earth signs. What have we got going on? This is spiritual guidance. This is. This is not the typical tarot reading. It's not the red or white deck, and it's not the crystal ally deck. These are messages from the angels and the archangels, and I will be using the messages from your angels by Doreen Virtue, and I will be using archangel oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull an Archangel card for all of you. Okay, so for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And then for each of your signs mm -hmm. specifically, I'm going to pull the uh, messages from your angel's advice. And as I get downloads, I will interpret those for you. So I hope you guys like this and let me know, um, you know, what you think about this. So thank you again so much for all of your support. I would like to thank um, two of my subscribers. I don't have their names in front of me right now, but two of my subscribers that did notify me of this of this person uploading my videos and I just want to thank my subscribers out there you guys are absolutely great thank you for all of your likes and your shares and your support it is just wonderful you guys are just really blowing me away and I am so grateful to have you guys in my life and to be able to work with you so that we grow together so that's awesome okay so let's go ahead and let's get started. Here is the Archangel cards, and I'm just going to pull one card for the Archangel for the overarching theme for the next couple weeks until we get to the monthlies again. And the monthlies are going to be up as they always are, sometime between the 15th and the 20th, 21st of the month. Okay? So this should give you a little bit of guidance moving forward for the next couple weeks. Okay, this one wants to come out. And actually, I'll do what I always do. I'll bring the camera down so that you guys can uh, you guys can see the card that's here. Okay, there it is. All right. Okay. The next card is going to be for Capricorns, for your messages from the angels. Capricorns, Capricorns, what have we got? Goats, what's going on, Cappies? What's your message from the angels? What do they have to say to you? This, They want to say that to you. Okay, so there's Capricorn. What have we got for Taurus? Nearly threw the whole deck on the floor. <laughs> 
All right, Taurus, what do we got? Is this it? Okay, they wanted that one. And then let's look at Virgo. Virgo is this one. Okay. All right, guys, these videos are going to be quite a bit shorter. And some of you are probably saying, yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started here. What is the Archangel guidance for the Earth signs for the next five days to 14 days? Okay? You have Beloved One. You see that? There's a little bit of a glare there, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll read what it says. It says, Archangel Shamuel. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Okay, what I'm getting from this is that for all earth signs out there, um, there is potentially a soulmate relationship that the archangels know about. And they are aware of what is in your heart to make this soulmate relationship work. <clears throat> They're working behind the scenes to be able to provide you with appropriate guidance as well as appropriate timing. I just heard timing is a big deal. So some, many earth signs, and this is just a general reading, but a lot of earth signs out there for some reason, um, there's a timing issue where you may have had someone come into your life a little bit too early and you've gone through stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. And um, this could also be friendships, okay? This does not have to specifically be romantic relationships, but it can be. So in this particular situation, um, <clears throat> Archangel Shamuel is working with you to put specific situations in your life to point you into the appropriate direction of your soulmate or that person that you believe is your soulmate, okay? They will give you guidance. They will tell you, yes, indeed, this is your soulmate. Please move forward. Or they will tell you, this is not your soulmate. We are going to point you in the direction of your of your soulmate. And again, that could be soulmate relationships at work, it could be friendships, or it could be romantic relationships. But please remember that soulmate relationships, so many people think soulmate relationships are just supposed to be easy. No, they're not. Soulmate relationships are brought into our lives to teach us lessons. And if we get through those lessons together, even though it, it can seem just heartbreaking at the time, um, everything happens for a reason. Okay? And so when you are confronted with the situation saying, you know, I just don't know where this particular relationship is going because it just seems every time I turn around there's a block. This potentially means for you that there's something on the inside that you need to work on and there might be something that the person that you are interested in or the situation or the relationship that you're interested in also has something that they need to work on. I'm getting healing from a lot of this. So there might be some significant healing that earth signs need to go through as it relates to soulmate relationships, friendships, work relationships, or romantic relationships. Okay. So let's see what is going on as far as the message specifically from the angels for Capricorns as it relates to you getting help uh, with your spiritual soulmate relationship. You have Daniel. And Daniel says this, 
I am the angel of marriage and I am assisting you right now. Okay? So what I'm hearing for Capricorns is this can go both ways. Okay, I'm getting two messages. For Capricorns, there are some Capricorns out there that are undergoing divorce, are undergoing um, you know, a separation from a soulmate and know that Daniel is there with you to help you work through this, poten this potential situation as it relates to a marriage contract uh, for you to both be able to go on your separate path so that you can meet your soulmate it is very interesting how how these messages come out I mean it's it's so it's it's so meaningful and it's so profound sometimes when you have your overarching archangel saying I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship and then you have Daniel come in who is the angel of marriage so there might be some of you out there that are possibly in a marriage and you know it's a successful marriage but there might be some turbulence right now within that relationship and you do have the angels around you helping you smooth those waters out take you to smooth, smoother waters, take you to calmer waters. For those of you that are looking for your soulmate relationship um, for the next two weeks, uh, just be open because the soulmate may be in your vicinity and it may potentially result you know, in a unified bond and that could be an engagement, that could be marriage. Just make sure that that particular person or business relationship or friendship that you're working on um, serves your highest good and serves their highest good. So for example, for Capricorns, if you are with somebody that drains you and makes you feel like worthless and not worth anything or of no value and nagging you and constantly um, trying to control you then in this particular case you know the angels are surrounding you to help you let that go that person or that relationship does not serve you in any way shape or form this could manifest itself by, you know, work relationships, friendships, um, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife that is surrounding like gossip, drama, manipulation, cheating, those types of things. In that particular case, the angels are telling you it's time to let this go. In the other positive aspect of this, what the angels are surrounding you with is this pure love, this pure joy for this illumination to happen in your life so that you can identify the soulmate when you are in that person's presence. It would be someone that you know you wouldn't want to leave. It would be someone that you felt very comfortable with. It would be someone that would challenge you in a good way. It would be someone that would support you. It would be someone that would give you the utmost respect that you deserve even though there may be difficulties in the relationship they're always very respectful they're always very uh, easy to talk to for the most part they're always going to be there for you you know even when they need their space or even when they need their own time to heal so you're, there's your message Capricorn Okay, here we have for Taurus, you have Maya. And what does Maya have to say? Schooling, study, education, help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. 
So now you have schooling, studying, and um, education. So for the Torians out there, um, this soulmate relationship may be, up, may be getting applied to you from a work perspective or even a friendship perspective. You know, there may be um, something that you need to accomplish, some type of goal, some type of uh, continuing education, some type of, um, you know, university study, a certification, something like that. And, and right now, if you focus on that, then you bring those soulmate relationships, those positive relationships into your life. And, you know, I don't see this particularly coming out in a romantic context, but it could from the perspective of you may find a potential soulmate at school. You may find a potential soulmate, um, you know, it, sitting for some type of a certification exam. You may find, you know, your tribe at work. You may find your tribe within your friendships when you are able to identify those that serve you and those that do not serve you. When you are able to relinquish those that do not serve, you will bring more and more positive people into your life. Okay, Virgos, what is your angel message here for the next 5 to 14 days or so? You have Shanti, Virgos. And Shanti says, I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. That is beautiful, Virgos. So when you have <clears throat> Archangel Shamuel saying, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship, and then you have the angel um, Shanti bringing in the um, the peace and the tranquility Virgos are now in a situation where what they're telling me is that you are now in the calm after the storm that you are finding your peace you are finding your tranquility you have released that which no longer serves so that you can bring those uh, spiritual soulmates into your life and this applies in all areas. This applies in romantic life. This applies in work relationships. This applies with your children. This applies with, um, with um, you know, your relationship with yourself. You know, it's, it's really beautiful. Your relationships with your friendships. Bring those people in that serve you and do not hinder you or demean you in any way. So you do have guidance and you are looking at smoother waters ahead. Okay guys, there was your Be Weekly Spiritual Guidance. I hope you like these. Uh, let me know what you think and uh, I look forward to your comments. Again, thank you so much for joining me and taking the time to watch these videos. You guys absolutely rock. Take care of yourself, Earth Signs. Talk to you later. Namaste.